I'm not really a gorilla. <laughs> I'm just actor-comedian Kevin McDonald. But, but considering the plight of the mountain gorilla, we thought it was in poor taste to use an actual gorilla. Thank you, Dave. Dave Foley. But we hope from my performance that we reminded you just a little bit of the power, the grace, and the beauty of the mountain gorilla and stirred you emotionally to their cause. As little as 10 years ago, these awesome cousins of ours thrived in the mountain regions of Rwanda. Today, only 268 remain. Kevin McDonald will always be a legend for his work in The Kids in the Hall, but this week he's bringing a rock opera to Regina that was written by Kevin McDonald, about Kevin McDonald, and for Kevin McDonald. One of my favorite local actor comedians is also part of the show. Ryan Josephson is playing guitar and playing Dave Foley in Kevin McDonald Superstar. And Ryan and Kevin join us live right now. Good afternoon, Kevin. Good afternoon, Kevin. I'm Kevin. Sorry. <laughs> That's a lot of Kevins. That's a lot of, yeah. <laughs> and hello, Sorry. Ryan. Great to see you. Hey, Peter. Good. To, great to see you as well. Kevin, how well do you know my guy, Ryan Josephson? Pretty well. Pretty well. We've done 105 shows. I have bombed uh, with him. He he never bombed. He was uh, he was being a hit, and I was being a bomb. We did that uh, many times together, and uh, hopefully we'll uh, follow in that tradition this uh, Saturday night. <laughs> Ryan, what, what's it like working with Kevin? Uh, it's amazing. Uh, it's he and he is very self deprecating. He's very very funny on stage. He doesn't bomb, uh, but uh, he, we. I really enjoy being on stage with Kevin. We always have a lot of fun, and uh, yeah, it's. I think this this show will will not disappoint. Kevin, did you give uh, Ryan any instructions on playing Dave Foley? Uh, first of all, it will disappoint you. You want to see the best show in the world? Don't come in with the. the I want to see the best show in the world because then it will disappoint. Come in there. He can't really sing, and he he wrote the songs. He, I hear he can't really write songs. I think it's going to be bad. If you come in with, I think it's going to be bad. Um, th th why am I yelling? Sorry for yelling. Then you'll be, uh, um, I told Ryan, <laughs> uh, do a perfect impression. No, uh, no, I didn't tell him anything. Um, I, I did, did, Him doing it like him will be perfect. Ryan, how, what are you looking forward to in this show? Um. I'm looking forward to just people hearing this music. It's and and the story. It's especially for kids in the hall fans and Kevin fans and fans of the early '90s. It's it's set in the early '90s. There's lots of references to things from that era and and the kids in the hall. There's a couple appearances. Obviously, I'm playing Dave Foley. Uh, there's a character uh, Scott Thompson makes an appearance in the show. It has a very funny song. So. Uh, it's yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to to playing uh, all this music that Kevin wrote. Kevin, so you, you you sit down to write Kevin McDonald's Superstar. Like, what what were you trying to put put into this show? Well, um, th this was during the the years a few years ago when I had a podcast, and I was boring my producers with the story that I uh, because I always told like a five or ten minute story part of the podcast, like a true story. And I was, I was boring with them. Uh, I was boring them. Uh, and they were, uh, one of them said, uh, you know what? Uh, and he was being like mean. He said, this should be like a rock opera, not a story. And I said, yes, a rock opera. Cause I love rock operas as a kid. I loved uh, like uh, Jesus Christ superstar. I was obsessed. I'm a lapsed Catholic. And b before I was lapsed and I was just a Catholic, I, I, um, you know, the, the, the best thing in Catholic school they ever did was um, the show is Jesus Christ superstar once a year. And I, I was uh, I was obsessed with Jesus Christ Superstar, um, and so I've always loved rock opera. You, you ask anyone um, uh, under forty now, because uh, I do the show in a lot of different cities, and people say, "What is a rock opera?" Like it's not a term that um, uh, that is familiar nowadays. Like Burt Reynolds. Ask anyone under forty what their uh, favorite uh, Burt Reynolds movie is. <laughs> <laughs> Smoking the Bandit. Smoking the Bandit. Uh, uh, Deliverance. Uh, good one, yeah, good one. Boogie Nights, but that's later in his career. Um, Boogie Nights. So, so I, yeah, so I sat down to uh, stretch the story, and then I, um, uh, and then I, like the funny part of the story, 
uh, <laughs> which hopefully kids in the hall fans will be in the audience so they don't get upset with me. They'll, um, uh, I, I built a story around that, which was also, it, it was true. It's all true. It's like, it's, a, it's real. It's good. <laughs> it's real. I, but I, you know, I, I only know so many chords. Kevin, um, you're not just doing Kevin McDonald's Superstar. That's at night, but during the day you're doing a four-hour uh, sketch comedy improv workshop. Why is that something you wanted to do? Um, you know, again, from boring people, for uh, years I bored people at parties about theories of comedy. You know, the thing about comedy, uh, you, know, uh, you know, the magic threes, uh, comedy is mathematics. Um, and finally they said, uh, stop it and make a rock opera out of it. I didn't, <laughs> um, but I made a workshop out of it. So um, uh, so people want to come to get bored. Uh, I, mean, I mean, the boring part is the teacher talking. I try to make it uh, slightly amusing so it's less boring. And then they, um, and then it's their turn to improvise after I talk for a little bit. And then, but why then, do you want to do that for four hours? Why do you want to, you know, get more people involved and do that with them? I don't, it's pretty fun. It's pretty fun. Yeah, and uh, the, I guess in the back of my mind, I always hope that um, – I'm going to shape some young uh, comedy god or goddess. And uh, there's one person who just auditioned for uh, Saturday Night Live, <laughs> so it almost happened. Like, like he did twice. Oh, yeah, like, like he, he went up, and it was like just him and the last few uh, people. And, uh, so almost, almost. Well, we hope to see him someday. Ryan, why is it so valuable for, for local actors and comedians to, to take part in an improv uh, um, workshop like that? That's a nice question. Yeah, well, there's, there's just lots to learn. I mean, Kevin... Kevin's very entertaining, obviously, and uh, and very funny in person. And but he has a lot of he has a lot uh, to offer in in the workshop. I've I've actually done it three or four times. Kevin said I'm I'm tied for the most show most workshops or something like that. But yeah. uh, no, I mean for performers and improvisers and and just comedic writers, uh, there's just a lot of. Uh, <laughs> of great advice and information that Kevin gives. And then he tells stories from the kids in the hall. Uh, so if you're a fan, it's also cool to just hang out with Kevin and get to hear stories. Um, and, but it's really, really informational and, and good, really good stuff for up and coming performers and, and writers. Thank well, you very much, Ryan. Speaking Ryan, of... you're tied with uh, Dr. Banana, her name. Oh, She's a... okay. A doctor actually from Winnipeg, and she, uh, I, I tweeted once when it was called tweeting that um, um, I, 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 before the show, I was going to get bananas for my shake. So every time she comes to do a workshop or a show, she always bring a banana. So I've called her Dr. Banana, which allows me to forget her real name. Yeah. Kevin, I didn't bring a banana, but I brought a clip uh, that I actually absolutely have to ask you because it's one from one of my all time favorite shows. Steve. Hmm? It's Elaine. From Tim Wally's party? Yeah. yeah. You look different. I see you're still sticking with the denim. So do you have that card that I gave you? Well, I had it back in my place, but I can't go there now. I'll give it to you later or something. No, 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 no. You give me your number. Okay. Sure. Do you have the mumps? No. Typhoid? From season nine, episode ten of Seinfeld, the legendary denim vest. Kevin, what do you remember about that experience? I remember that everyone was very nice. Jerry Seinfeld was very nice. He was in charge of everything. He told everyone what to do, but he was very nice about it. I remember Dave Foley of the Kitchen Hall, who Ryan is playing, as we've uh, previously discussed. He was a, a star of the, the NBC show News Radio, so he was the most famous um, Ken Hall that time. So a week, uh, Jerry Seinfeld kept calling me Dave. <laughs> um, but he's very nice about it, so I let him. But, and then I'll try to keep the story short. Uh, on my last day of filming in the studio in Hollywood, they had like a whole New York street. And uh, that part that we, you just um, played, right. um, it was me and Elaine. I'll call her by her character's name. Uh, and um, one of the jokes that I had, it was, I didn't write it like the writers wrote it. Jerry Seinfeld didn't like the joke. And we were outside um, and um, uh, shooting in this New York, that looked like New York. And um, him and the two writers were in front of me before the scene trying to come up with a joke. Now, I had just done several years of the kids in the hall where we would do this all the time. So without thinking, I offered a joke. And everyone in the crew got quiet, and the two writers looked down. And I swear to God, um, they said it was going to rain, but all of a sudden the skies got black and I heard thunder. And then uh, Jerry Seinfeld turned to me and said, no! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not how things went on Kids in the Hall, was it? 
No. I mean, I, I understand. I, I, I was, it wasn't my place. If it, like someone, if, a, if an extra had done that, Bruce would have punched him in the throat. <laughs> Bruce McCullough, I'm referring to people who are listening. That's right. We just had Bruce on the show actually a week ago. Oh. Oh, yeah. He, he played Winnipeg. I did, um, uh, did, do you remember the scene that we did called The Bass Player? I don't, I, no. Well, we did a scene called The Bass Player, and, uh, <laughs> and then, uh, then he went to, uh, no, he went to Saskatoon. Then he went to Calgary. Kevin, Ryan, thank you so much. Have a great time at the show. We will! Thank you so much. Kevin McDonald is a legendary actor comedian from the Kids in the Hall, and Ryan Josephson is also an amazing Saskatchewan actor comedian. Kevin McDonald Superstar is happening at the Artesian in Regina on Saturday. Tickets are almost sold out, but again, before that, Kevin's leading a four hour comedy sketch improv workshop, and you can find more on the Artesian's website.